Hello and welcome to VW Farm. I'm Darren and today we have come to run to the prom, which is a VW cruise, which is going to Western Supermare. So we're going to have a look at the uh, cars and vans that are here and see what happens today. I'm stood next to the Beetle that's actually going to lead the show. Now this Beetle actually won best in show last year. It's a lovely looking car. So it's going to be the first one that leaves. Get a paint job on that. See your face in it. And that interior is immaculate. The next trip we have an oval. It's a really old one, obviously, because it's a small windstream. It's also got a bit of meat behind it because it's a 2.2 litre engine. So it's more of a sleeper bug to me. Some lovely transporters, the VW Dub Edition, and these ones are all orange. And apparently, this is Team Orange. We have all the way around. There's loads of them. The one that looks striking over here is is this one. Some airbrushing. So here we have a wizard. It's actually on the back of a transporter truck. It's got lovely paintwork. It's actually seamless. So it's, I reckon there must be fiberglass wings, fiberglass bonnet. So here we have a lovely pearl yellow split screen, which is actually 1964. There's a, a left hand drive with its pop out windows at the front, Safari. It's actually got Perspex front door screen and it's been de, de seamed at the top. So it's lovely and smooth, slightly more aerodynamics. And there's no door handles either. But it's a lovely colour. Get from the back. It's a GT Beetle. A GT badge on that one, anyway. Really, the difference is on this one. Definitely a 70s. It's got no rear grille, so probably a 1200. And a metal dash. And we've got the oval window that we saw earlier. The 2.2 litre engine. Then 
than the leader of the pack. Oh, this guy got some air horns on top. A Baja bug. We've got the engine showing. Oh, yes. And we've got another beetle. And he's even brought his luggage, might be going on holiday. Oh, his wheels are well cambered. Looks like a standard engine. And for his coil, he's got a Jack Daniels can. So we have a bay window, which is actually a 2014, which is one of the last edition. And we're registered in this country in 2018. So it's got a pop top. It's in lovely condition because it's near enough brand new when you think about it, compared to the other bay windows. And this beetle. It's the right perk work on, on there. 1302. And next to this, another beetle. With the different tail lights. Lovely looking engine. And it's actually got a textured surface and the indicators even show you which way they're going another 1302 convertible Carmen can't see this on there because it's a black car get a bit closer oh yes Carmen On this one, it's a black cab on a night. It's a left hand drive, it's got a Porsche steering wheel on there, padded dash. Seats don't have no headrests on, so low back seats. And this one's actually a 1302 LS. The reason why he's saying it's a Porsche, he's got the Porsche pants around in there. And we've got a 1303 in gold. Another Cabriolet. Oh, that is nice interior. Don't mind sitting in that. Change the dash. Oh, and it's got the same engine as the last one. Lovely, lovely, another lovely split screen. And this one actually has a step. And next to this, we have a beetle. with a sun visor and a roof rack. <laughs> Whether that sun visor does anything, I don't know, because it's full of holes to me. It's just mesh. <laughs> so we're on an L red, so it's a, a 70s. 71 or 72, I presume. And some more bay windows. <laughs> so we've got a Porsche. <laughs> so 
So here we have a Beetle 1300. Looks like it's original paint. She's actually, as I said, red, but it actually looks like undercoat. It's that aged. It's a lovely condition. Looks all to be original. The steering wheel and even the original seats, you can see all the wear on the inside. This is a great transporter. Look at the size of the wheels. Definitely good for the field. The beauties. There's some great looking vans here today. And transporters. This one's also got some massive wheels for off-roading. It's even got a snorkel. And coming to the back, there's water and electrical hookup. And it's even got a spare tyre. more of a rat look beetle and I dare say it's painted this one with a brush she's got the runs on it which you can't probably see I think maybe on purpose but I'll definitely keep the rust away in fact, in fact, go as far as to say it, it's hammerite. So it's, I think it's got older wings on here because it's a 70s one. It's like a 71 or 72. Yeah, it's a bit. has got more parts missing in the dash than that's there. In fact, it's only got one seat. But he has started doing it up on the inside by the looks. Definitely I'd call that a survivor beetle for now. I do like the look of it and that deck lid with the slots in the back. I think that could be fiberglass. Lovely looking beetle with the safari windscreen and also a sunroof. And it must be on air and it's well low. So we've got the split screen zebra. It's a lovely looking uh, bus. It's got the nine seats, it's got a larger intake, then in the back it's got a monster Subaru engine, it's absolutely rammed.